The Sandbox by Edward Albee. Characters. The young man, 25, a good-looking, well-built boy in a bathing suit. Mommy, 55, a well-dressed, imposing woman. Daddy, 60, a small man, gray thin. Grandma, 86, a tiny, wizened woman with bright eyes. The musician, no particular age, but young would be nice. At the beginning, it is brightest day. The young man is alone on stage, to the rear of the sandbox, and to one side, he is doing calisthenics. He does calisthenics until quite at the very end of the play. This calisthenics, employing the arms only, should suggest the beating and fluttering of wings. The young man is, after all, the angel of death. Well, here we are. This is the beach. I'm cold. <laughs> Don't be silly. It is as warm as the toast. Look at that nice young man over there. He doesn't think it's cold. Hello. Hi. This will do perfectly. Don't you think so, Daddy? There's sand there and the water beyond. What do you think, Daddy? Whatever you say, Mommy. Well, of course. Whatever I say. Then it's settled, is it? She's her mother, not mine. I know she's my mother. What do you take me for? Alright, now, let's get on with it. You! Out there! You can come in now! Very... Very nice, very nice. Are you ready, Daddy? Let's go get Grandma. Whatever you say, Mommy. Of course, whatever I say. You can begin now. Hi. Where do we put her? Wherever I say, of course. Let me see. Well, alright, over there, in the sandbox. Well, what are you waiting for, Daddy? The sandbox! <coughs> What do we do now? You mean what do we do now? We go over there and sit down, of course. Hello there. Hi. Do you think, do you think she's comfortable? How would I know? What do we do now? We wait, we sit here, and we wait. That's what we do. Should we talk to each other? Well, you can talk if you want to, if you think of anything to say, if you can think of anything new. No, I suppose not. Ha ha ha, of course not. <coughs> be quiet, Grandma. Just be quiet and wait. She's throwing sand at me. <coughs> Don't look at her. Just sit here. Be very still and wait. You uh, you can go ahead and do whatever it is you do. Honestly, what a way to treat an old woman. Drag her out of the house. Stick in her car. Bring her out from the city. Drop her in the pile of sand. And leave her you to set. I'm 86 years old. I was married when I was 17. No farmer. He died when I was 30. <laughs> Will you stop that, please? I'm a famous old woman. How do you expect anybody to hear me over the pip, pip? Bib, there's no respect around here. There's no respect around here. Hi. My husband died when I was 30, and I had to raise that big cow over there. All by my lonesome. You can imagine what that was like. Lordy, where did they get you? Oh, I have been around for a while. I bet you have. <laughs> Will you look at you? Isn't that something? Boy, oh boy, I say pretty good. I'll say.
Where you from? Southern California. Fingers, fingers. What's your name, honey? I don't know. Right too. I mean, I mean, they haven't given me one yet. The studio. You don't say. You don't say. Well, uh, I've got to talk to someone more. Don't you go away? Oh no. Fine, fine. You're you're an actor, huh? Yes, I am. I'm smart that way. Anyhow, I had to write that over there all by my lonesome. And what's next to her there? That's what she buried. Rich, I tell you, money, money, money. They took me off the farm, which was real decent of them. And they moved me into the big town house with them. Fix a nice place for me under the stove. Give me an army blanket and own dish, my very own dish. So what have I got to complain about? Nothing, of course. I'm not complaining. Shouldn't it be getting dark now, dear? La 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 It's night time. Shh! Be still! Wait. It's so hot. Shh! Be still! Wait. That's better. Night. How do you play? How do you this part? Well, keep it nice and soft. That's a good boy. That's nice. What was that? <laughs> it was nothing. It was. It was thunder or a wave breaking or something. <laughs> it was an offstage rumble. And you know what that means? I forgot. It means the time has come for poor grandma and I can't bear it. I, I suppose you've got to be brave. That's right, kid. Be brave. You'll bear up. You'll get over it. Oh, poor grandma, poor grandma. I'm fine. It's alright. It hasn't happened yet. La 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 don't put the lights up yet. I'm not ready. I'm not quite ready. All, all right, dear. I'm about done. I don't know how I'm supposed to do editing. This good damn toy shovel. Mommy, it's daylight. It is. Well, our long night is over. We must put away our tears, take off our mornings. And face the future. It's our duty. Make up our morning. Face the future, Lordy. Hi. Lovely. It's it's hard to be so sad. She looks happy. So happy. It pays to do things well. Alright, you can stop now if you want to. I mean, stay around for a swim or something. It's alright with us. Well, Daddy, off we go. Brave mommy. Brave daddy. It pays to do things well. Boy, oh boy. Well, kids, I I can't get up. I, I can't move. I can't move. Shh, be very still. I can't move. Um, ma'am, I... I have a line here. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. You go right ahead. I... I am... Uh... Take your time, dear. I am the angel of death. I am... Uh, I am coming for you. What? What? Oh, oh, I see. Well, that was very nice, dear. Shh, be still. 
What I meant was, you did that very well, dear. Oh. No, I mean it. You've got that. You've got a quality. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. You're, uh, you're welcome, dear. La 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 la.